I'm Brad Ward with Ward's Auctions and Remax Professionals. Welcome to another episode of What's Happening in Alberta. Yesterday was May the 4th, so I heard all the May the 4th be with you jokes that I could possibly handle. Today is Cinco de Mayo, so obviously we'll be drinking appropriate drinks later on today. It's also election day in Alberta. I hope everybody got out and voted. And on, contrary to George Carlin's statement, you are not allowed to complain if you don't vote. Not, you're not allowed to complain if you do vote. So I hope you got out there and voted. There's certainly lots to talk about in that, and we're not going to get into it because you don't have any feedback. It would be one-sided. We are here to talk about the most important thing happening in Alberta this week, which is our auction. Again, it's on Mother's Day, uh, not on purpose. Last year we had one on Mother's Day. It was a 100% accident. I think I didn't figure it out till the morning of. This time was just timing. We just, we just had no option as far as other things that were interfering, so we did it on Mother's Day. So come, bring your mother, buy her something nice, and she'll love you forever. Um, it is on, so obviously it's on May 10th. We start a clock, which is just a one-day sale. So it's a larger one day, but, but not so overbearing that, you know, there wasn't enough for a two day. So it's on May the 10th. We start at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. We will open at 9. Viewing will be on May the 8th on the Friday from 4 o'clock till 8 o'clock. Everything, of course, is on the website. You're probably seeing this video on the website, so that's a, a moot statement. But uh, wardsauctions.com, there'll be a link probably in the top or bottom or however that works uh, to get you to the website. There'll be a catalog, not right now if you're seeing this on the first posting, but before viewing, probably on Thursday, you'll see a printable catalog you can download. You can buy them at the sale here. They are $3 and that money does get donated. Speaking of donations, on the front page of our website right now, uh, the big top button is the ride for the, uh, the Kids for Cancer ride that I'm involved in. You click on that button and you can donate some money. I, uh, I did announce that at the last auction and I'm sad to say I didn't get a single donation. So uh, get on there, click, donate some money, uh, all the information is on there. The money does not go to pay for the riders, which is us, you'll see it on there, uh, to go. We pay our own way, I've already prepaid my way for that and prepaid some donation money as well. So, wardsauctions.com. The address for the sale, 11802 145th Street, that's in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, for those of you that are way out west in the wild, wild world of the web. The, the, we do have online bidding, bidding, of course, go to the website for that. Go to the auction section right now, it'll probably end up somewhere else. There is a tutorial, sort of a video tutorial that Michael's put together to show you how the online bidding how to do it, some of the quirks involved, some of the easy things. It just gives you a good overview for the newbies and even the experienced people. I saw some experienced people this weekend that have done it before and, and learned something from Michael's video. So I highly recommend you watching that. Even if you're not an online bidder, watch it and you'll get to learn more about what's happening behind the scenes when you're sitting in the room here bidding against the computer. So it's a good, it's a good thing to watch. <clears throat> so on with our little uh, walkthrough here. It's a, again, it's a nice sale, got a little bit of everything in it from mid-century modern to collectibles. This is like, all these collectibles on here is one big lot, 274. That's a pile of stuff, all for one lot. Just lots of fun there. The, the thing that's becoming more popular is the, is the mid-century modern, like I mentioned. This is a walnut one in the six drawer, high, the, the nine drawer dresser. And look at just, it's got a neat design to it. It's just like any other era, you've got ones that are cool and ones that are boring. Um, I, this is uh, not mid-century modern, but it is original condition. It's a little mini bar. It's got the four stools. I think it's just the cutest thing ever. So, I'm, Am I allowed to say cutest thing ever? I'm not sure. This section here, I'm not sure what the camera picks up and what it does, it, but there's upholstered furniture here and so on. This is actually out of a show home here in the city. It's, it's, every item that's in the show or from the show home is listed on the catalog appropriately. Things off camera like rockers and nesting tables and so on. This is a, a Nautilus Pro Series EV716 elliptical, cliptical exerciser thing. These are actually quite expensive, so you're going to want to pay attention to that one there. More mid-century on this one. Behind here is the headboard. This comes with it. And it's, it's a monster. Uh, queen or king, I guess, and then it still sticks out behind. But take a look at the design on this one. Again, it's walnut. It is a brand name that's in the drawer inside there. These drawers, of course, are finished and, and exposed. And then you've got this sort of painter's palette motif knob on here. You slide that open, 
and it exposes some more drawers, one of which has the, the name of the uh, company inside. Really neat, and like I said, really coming into its own, this sort of product. This is a newer version of your mid-century modern design. Um, it is teak, and it was from Norton Lunds. The catalog will show, 269 is the lot number, the catalog will show the, where it was bought, and I think that, that there is reference to the original price tag, which we do have here somewhere. Six chairs. You unlatch this table and it opens up like butter. It's just so well, good quality, it just slides right open. And inside there's two leaves that have to be 20 inches wide or something. I th again, I think it's in your catalog. So, so you can open it up one person. I could probably open it up with these, this china on here and it would slide perfectly well and not even uh, be an issue. I'm not going to do that because of course on camera something's going to go wrong. But, uh, but it really is nice. This is show home stuff, that's why there's mattresses in the sale. People will say, well, Wards doesn't sell mattresses. We don't, but it's, this has never been in a home. It's a show home. So and this, this is show home furniture in front of me here. Waterfall dresser. This is kind of cool. In the, we sold stoves before, the enamel finished stove, but I don't think I've ever seen one with the sort of a pedestal design base. I, as far as I can remember, that's the only one. The, a lot of the pictures that might've been off camera along that wall were show home decor. Um, as this, but of course there's also vintage pieces like these stained glass windows which are very very handy and useful architectural pieces. This is a rendering, I don't want to say machine, pot, build a big fire inside there, throw your pig inside there I guess, I don't know, I'm from the city, but you render your fats and lards and whatever. So um, we probably won't light a fire and demonstrate it, but I think there'll be some interest in it. To the right people obviously. Some really fancy furniture down here if you like busy upholstery. This is again show home mattress, that's obvious. This is an open house real estate sign. Call me if you're buying or selling. I'm working with some nice buyers right now, so that's kind of fun. They kind of like that, hunting out what they need. My number is 780-940-8378. Same cell phone number I've had for 20 some years, so any card you have, it's on there. A couple of antique bedroom suites. Double headboard, footboard rails, vanity with stool, and a high boy. And then almost the same thing again, only a different design. High boy, bed, and a vanity off camera here. Some nice chicken coop chairs, 10 gallon crocs down here. These are Gibbard. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there is some Gibbard product coming in for the next sale as well. So those that, that really like that Gibbard, and you can't get better than Gibbard as far as quality goes. So if you, if you like the design of them, then pay close attention to, to those pieces and to a few pieces in the next sale too, which we don't have a date for. Tabletop radio in the Westinghouse. This piece and this piece, lot number 437, you'll see that they, they match, high boy and dresser. Just the weirdest business this is, you know, you're not buying from a retail store or ordering from a supplier, you're getting what comes in from estates and from regular downsizing, consignments, whatever. These are from two different people and they match, they are the same piece. So that sort of thing never ceases to amaze me, but maybe I'm easily amazed. The table and chairs in front of me, uh, again, very uh, fancy, if you will. Center pedestal, wooden base, it's quite substantial. Glass top, bevel glass top table, and then the upholstered nail head design uh, chairs. In the right place, of course, it really does pop. 301, looks like the lot number on that one. Shelley Brown Heron, this is on the Shelley Brown Heron China. Again, I don't think I've sold that set, if I have, it not in recent memory, that's for sure. So very nice, and the Shelley, of course, is a little better than than most. Uh, two four zero is a lot number on that one. Another set of china here, off camera. Harvest table, off camera. Let me squeeze through here. A couple of pieces that do me very well. Uh, Forty-eight drawer cabinet, uh, forty-eight drawer typesetter's cabinet or typesetter's cupboard. Just imagine the collector. Uses, coins, bills, um, other ephemera, brooches, just there's all sorts of possibilities. It just goes on and on and on. And, and what a neat, neat piece. On top here, quarter cut oak flatware chest, uh, original hardware. Ellington and Company is the, is the manufacturer. There is a drawer missing, so a guy will have to use some creativity and make a drawer, which can be done, and color match it. The hardware, of course, will be an issue, so. Don't try to match it, just go completely different, but something that complements it. But I would own that all day long. So if you're buying gifts for me, this one or this one, there's a few other things in the sale too, but those two come to mind.
50 decor bird cage. I, I suppose you could put a real bird in. I don't know how that works. The, the big sectional is from Show Home with a big, huge, funky coffee table and the doodads that are on it, Show Home pieces, a couple of matching step tables. I need to take a look in this corner like we always do. Oh, I should show you this. I forgot all about this. This is a huge pile of doorknobs, latches, hinges. There's two lots like this in the sale. I don't, I don't know where the other one is offhand, but there's two lots in the sale. This one's lot 8-1. Uh, so if you're redoing an old, an old home, boy, you need to be paying close attention to that one. We've got a nice selection of carpets again. And again, sometime, some, some of these are, are brand new. Like if that's not brand new, I'm not sure what it is. And then there's some antique or vintage pieces as well. So again, lots and lots of pieces. And they all sell on one day, Mother's Day, 2015. So have a good look at that. In front of me here, I don't think it's ever been assembled. When I went and saw it in the home, it was in pieces, in a home that really was too busy to have it assembled. But it, does, it doesn't look like it was ever used. There's no markings on the bumpers or whatever. We did not get the felt for the top small potatoes, that's not a big deal. We didn't get balls either. Uh, but we do have cues. And it's a Dufferin, it's a Victorian style. You can see the big scroll feet, that's a very Victorian style. Dufferin is a good name. It is slate, one, two, three sections. So uh, pretty easy to move around, but still top quality. Comes with a little um, putting set and the dartboard. So you get like an instant games room. And all of it is good quality. There's no, everything they had in that house uh, was absolutely top-notch quality. Canadiana sideboard, top and bottom. Comes apart, of course, for easy use or easy transport. Northumbria flatware. We've got some other sterling in the sale. I'll show you some right now because there's some more flatware in this cabinet. The rest of the cabinet is bills and dollars and coin sets, and they're up on the top here, but you've got a couple of sets of flatware down there. Neat little lot of knives and so on. There's coins and bills in this cabinet, and there's also some in the very back room. We'll give you a quick glance at that as well. One of our globes is missing. Uh, probably got damaged at some point in time in its life, but I'm sure you could track one down or find two other different ones that match. But these, you see these complement each other because they are opposite sides. So I think it's two different lots, but you should probably buy them together, uh, whoever's the high bidder. These are, if women were this height, this would be life size. But, and maybe in some countries it is. Inside here, nice little selection, Dalton Lambeth, uh, on the vases, there's Moorcroft lamp, another little piece of Moorcroft. This is an original copy of Grey's Anatomy, that's lot number 224, have a good look at that in the catalog, double check our work. 390 is a couple of tuftings. This is rural Worcester on this lidded pot, little ca lidded casserole, it, it just doesn't get any better than that piece. Uh, Waterford, a, a, a bracket clock, or a um, Moser glass decanter, really neat stuff there. Carriage clock I meant is what I was trying to say. The couple of oriental motif pieces here, vintage sideboard clocks. Don't see too many of these anymore, the airplane ashtray. All the pots and so on are all intact, everything's there. It does light up even, we'll plug it in on game day. Uh, like most of them though, you need to source some some propellers, that's not uncommon at all. You may have seen a video on the website a, a week prior to this one that covers the two motorcycles. This one is an 09 Buell with less than 9,000 kilometers on it. This one is an 07 Benelli uh, TNT. If you didn't see that video, don't panic. It's gonna be at the end of this video that you're watching. Or you can go to the other video and watch it over and over and over again for your pleasure. Uh, I think it's uh, mostly show home stuff over there and uh, well this side is show home stuff and this side is other stuff. This is about as neat as it gets. I'll probably mess this up because we're on camera but it is a vintage folding ladder. It's even got a little hook there and you just hang it on the wall and away you go. Slide it under the bed, do whatever and then when you want to do ladder related activities there you go, just like that. CSA approved, I'm sure. Just like the cribs of today. So use it for a decor piece, uh, some sort of a visual aid, whatever, but don't use it for uh, a ladder. Uh, these are great, these are salon chairs with the stools. If you, have, if you have or you know somebody, for instance, that has a tattoo parlor, 
make sure you let them know that these are here. There's three of them, and um, you know, theoretically very valuable and certainly invaluable to those people in that industry. Modern high boy and and poster bed. This is from the same house as the big, huge teak dining set at the back of the room that we saw earlier. These are illuminated. We'll probably try and get them lit, light, lit up before the viewing day. Comes apart into assorted pieces to get it in and out of your house easily. It was brought in here by, by Centaur. So it can be transported and it's very effective looking. It's kind of neat um, because it's got so many angles going on to it. A few things behind me that we've seen. And then the silver cabinet, those, are used, those of you that are used to the building, we try to put the sterling in this cabinet. And there's some nice pieces, uh, little sauce boats and bowls and mirrors, that's a very nouveau mirror, some flatware and so on. And a couple pieces that I've taken out on the top, this one is a toast rack, they're great for putting your napkins in on the kitchen table, if you do formal dining, if you don't. Uh, put but you have a maybe a fancy bathroom put your face cloths in there so that works really well for that here's a 1919 Chester uh, Sterling ink pot entree very neat piece on that one and this is 1847 London teapot so it's, again some nice Sterling lots more in the in the room some on cam off camera some of it was there we just didn't mention it and you just had to get a glance a glance of it of course everything is on the website as far as photographs go 99.9% .9 of it ends up on there. Here's a little, I'm going to call it a highlight, a peak, Alberta Diamond Jubilee Colt 45 in the original, of course, fitted box because we have the June 13th firearms auction coming up. And just to prove it, we've got Jim and Linda up from the Haynes Group doing some cataloging and cleaning, and we've got them locked back here until they get the catalog done. So that's on June 13th coming up. We are still taking consignments. You can look at the website. You can phone the Red Deer office, phone Linda. The best, really, my advice, the best number is Linda's cell. I can't remember it offhand, but it is on the website uh, or call me. Because uh, if you're down that way, you, they'll pick it up if you're in Red Deer. You can deliver it to their office in Red Deer. It's not all up in Edmonton. So keep that in mind. Uh, lots of jewelry, costume jewelry and so on was off camera. The, the girls aren't here, so I don't have my little notes with me. But there is some great diamond rings in, you know, one carat diamonds. One of them is an e-color. Uh, there is some, some gold chains. There's gold watches, men's and ladies' gold watches. Somewhere there's a, a heavy chain. I just grabbed them out of the safe. Um, like I said, the girls aren't here, so I don't have all the details. I'm not usually allowed to go into the safe, so it's all good. In here you got some Daltons. you got some... Um, uh, Hummels and so on. I mentioned the other coins. They're back here. I want to take you over there. Artwork back here. Everything from originals to prints to uh, Haida pieces, hunt scenes and so on. So a nice selection of smalls along here. This is Royal Dalton. And uh, ignore the collector plates. We don't take collector plates. Crystal and beadworks and brass and books. Again, it's a one-day sale, so when you come in it's a little less crowded than, than we, when we have our full two-day sales. Here's a nice solarium set. Even back here, there's a little bit more elbow room. Nice selection of tools, ladders, compressor. There's a maple, a uh, Roxton maple dinette set back there. So those that still like that, I mean, it's bulletproof. You cannot wreck that stuff. So if you know somebody who likes the rocks, then make sure you let them know that that's gonna be here. Uh, some, some Quebec carvings, some uh, cranberry, or, yeah, cranberry flash or cranberry glass. Neat little reproduction, battery-operated pieces, Eve Sham, depression glass, quite a large selection of depression glass. Here's some Royal Albert, another nifty box back here. This is a mosquito catcher. I don't know how a mosquito catcher works, but I know we're going to need them awfully soon. This is a gorgeous quality leaded Tiffany-style shade for a table lamp. And remember how weird I say it's weird when something comes in from one place and uh, the uh, complementing piece or the matching piece comes in from somewhere else. There's a stand, a, a lamp base over there in that corner of that table that matches this perfectly from two different consigners. Nice quality china cups and saucers, more stoneware. There's a whole other aisle back there that's got all kinds of good stuff in it. We won't get into it. This one here, of course, always drawn to anything that holds booze. This one holds booze. This one doesn't sit on the floor. This one sits on, the, on your desk or your credenza or whatever and I'm pretty sure I need to have that, again, if you're buying gifts for my office. So let's recap. It is Mother's Day 2015, which is May 10th, 
We open at 9 o'clock in the morning, we start selling at 10 o'clock, there's about 500 lots. Then there's, so you can still have to get home for Mother's Day dinner. There is the viewing on the Friday, on the 8th, May 8th, from 4 o'clock until 8 o'clock. And then also keep in mind we're cataloging the firearm sale on June for June 13th. There's still room, lots of room to get stuff in for that sale. Look on the website, there's already a good selection of firearms, ammunition. Is, the ammunition may not be on the website yet, but it's in the building. There's uh, knives and complementing pieces and there's a pile of miscellaneous and loading gear and stuff to get sorted out. Wardsauctions.com is the website. You can link to both us and to Haynes from there. The, the sale, uh, the address 11802 145th Street, Edmonton, Alberta. The office number is 780-451-4549. My cell, 780-940-8378. My name is Brad Ward. Thanks for watching. Brad Ward here, Ward's Auctions. Uh, coming up in the March 10th sale, 2015, is this uh, as new condition Buell 1125CR. It only has 8,258 kilometers. Check, check out the, the website for the catalog description of it. You'll see the serial number. You can do all your checks on it and so on. It's lot number 195 for March 10th, 2015. They are a great deal of fun. I've never owned one, but I've written a few of them. Ward from Ward's Auctions here. Another uh, unique nifty item in the, in the May 10th, 2015 auction coming up. Lots of stuff in the sale, lots of estate wares, collectibles, antiques, etc. Including this Benelli TNT motorcycle. Uh, I have not uh, written it yet, so we're about to do that. And I've never owned a bike like this one before. Very, very impressive looking piece though. Got a great sound. I can't tell you how many kilometers we're on it just yet. I have the website to figure that out. I have to figure out how to reset the triplet on there. We wanted the only ones in your neighborhood to have one. Five one four five four nine. See you at the sale.